because of confusion in the past, you will put your marks on one of the two papers here. You will sign the red paper if you agree, which we hope that you do, and the black if you don't. So they will know who is a friend and who is not. So they will know who to take rations from. What is it? Sir, this is not your agency. The Council at Standing Rock is next week. You have no place here. Do you not recognize who this man is? I know. He is Sitting Bull. But I do not recognize him as having any more of voice than any other Indian here. Hear me, then, for one last time. They mean to take our land away from us. You may say they wish to give us land. Dispatch to you, dispatch to you. But here is the truth. Each patch is for a man and all generations that follow him, and they know that this land cannot feed but one generation, not even so much as that. All right, you had your say. Do not interrupt. You teach our children the words of your God. Be fruitful and multiply. But it seems these words are not meant for the Indian. For what kind of man would take a wife and have children he cannot feed? No Indian man. Not a Lakota, not an Arikara, not a crow. You would have us cut off our balls and end our race right here on a patch of land on which nothing can live. And that will not happen. I have spoken. We did not put you on this land. Red Cloud surrendered. He made peace with the government. Have you forgotten the bloodshed that came before? Sitting Bull is a great leader. I believe this no matter that the whites see us men all as the same. But he did not sit with us in the council those many snows ago when our reservation was made. He did not sit with us in the next council when these borders that we were told were like marks in stone were moved and the Black Hills and our hunting lands were taken from us. Sitting Bull might have had his say, but such was his suspicion of the whites. Such was his pride. I say today, for all ears within hearing, that if Sitting Bull had spoken the way he speaks today, I would not have touched that pen. I will not touch your pen to your paper. I will not touch it to your red paper. I will not touch it to your black paper. The white man will not see my mark again on this paper for the rest of my days on this earth. Yeah!